four what? Four of those tubs. Of the gallon mixers? No, four of the no. Okay, then I sleeves. need to go to the paint store. Oh, and then, then we get into the it. 3M system. Okay. Okay, cool. That's right. Then I'm gonna need some more of these then, huh? Yeah, to do the gallon. Save that. To do mine. To do yours. Okay. Well, get out of here. Go. No, I gotta clean my hands and stuff. Well, do the Where'd little... the gun go? Oh, there it is. I hung it there. Get your hands clean and get out of here. I'll finish this and then talk to all my friends for a half hour. <laughs> that's the bad thing. You that's why help? they put a little nozzle on. You wanna help me put some more in there? And then I'll, that's the last two person job I need help with. Do we have one with a little nozzle? There's the luggity glug. Has that been cut? Oh, no, so it hasn't. Like a thinner. Has that been what? It hasn't been cut. What? Show the camera what you do. Oh, the little tabs that you have to keep pushing on. Take cut it. them out of there. You take and cut that tab off so, so it's just a regular lid. <laughs> Otherwise, it'll keep children like me out yeah, of it. Yeah, keep, it'll keep the kids out of it. Did you clean up? No. Then go. I need well, a towel. Then here. Do your, do your that. I was trying to, and it was glugging yeah, out. Yeah, to make sure the workspace stays nice and clean with thinner all over it. Is that what you did? You just yeah. want to clean the work surface? Yep, yep. So you walked around the car with the phone, or the phone <laughs> with the. Yeah, I just camera. said I walked around just quickly. I I wasn't even looking through the. I was like Austin Powers. Just I'm not even shooting you. Yeah, right. <laughs> you need and I'm spent. Yeah. Not enough. This is crazy. All right. Get out of here, kid. Put this Bye. up. Aside from the giant runs that you did. Yeah. You did some too. <laughs> Maybe. Okay, new video, Techna Pro Lite from Develbus. Complete breakdown and cleaning. Pop the spring out, got the back out, got the front off. And this is sprayed all our green today. Sublime green. And I've been saying grabber green, grabber lime, because my father and I did when he was my age, early 40s, and I was 20, 21, 22. We did a 71 Mach 1 Ram Air. 351 Cleveland motor. The hood, the color, just this car reminds me a lot of that car. But it's a Dodge. And so I've been saying grabber line a bunch. So I could release that video because what started me doing all these videos was actually my mother wanted all of her home movies put in a format that she could watch instead of getting a VCR out. So I bought a VCR. Actually, Dad had a VCR uh, and we bought a VCR in order to convert all of her stuff to digital. And then we found that hidden gem of he and I, uh, him mostly, I think I was living in Fort Walton at the time and coming over and helping him and stuff. Um, but we restored a 71 Mach 1 grabber line. It turned out to be really nice. Like this car is going to be really, really nice. I think he's going to put the black stripes on it and stuff too. So it'll be really, really cool. Okay. The Elvis gun. In the midst of all that, I was cleaning the outside. Now the outside doesn't matter, but my aesthetics are pretty high. I like stuff to look pretty nice. So, that's pretty good. Now let's get to cleaning. 
Oh, it's still sticky. Whew. Oh, that clear gets everywhere. And we've got a, I've just got an analog. This actually has a digital, I don't know if it comes out or not. You can see it's zero, zero, but as you squeeze the trigger, you can adjust that, and that's a digital gauge to see how much pressure you got. Pretty nice to dial it in perfectly. glasses too. Dad got, I think he bought four or five hundred pair of these glasses <laughs> and has given them to every person across the United States that he knows. Buddies have come to town and they leave with 20 of these so they are great for x-ray vision cleaning. I think there's a seal in this gun. <laughs> so the Tecna Pro Light from Develbus does not have a little gasket in there. Or if it does and you're watching and you know that it should have one in Somewhere along the line, my dad's lost it out of this gun. Send me an email, clarksplace at yahoo.com. Pretty dang clean. That's pretty clean. Very, very nice. See, it gets a little wear mark where this actually grabs it and pulls that back each time. But other than that, make sure all the paint's all clean off of it. Throw him back in there. Get their spring clean. Oh, I can feel I got a blister from spraying today. Whew. Not the color, it was the clear. That stuff is just like spraying glue over the whole car. It sure looks pretty though. All right, 
This one has a little bit of a plastic cap, but this goes, this slides over, you can see the, the needle sticks out, slides over that, and then keeps that pressed up against that cap. So, have the little plastic thing facing the back when you put it back together. And get this guy, just kind of squish him in there. And then now, anytime you squeeze the trigger, that spring is forcing that needle back up in to seat against this. And I was the one who cleaned this when it was green. Okay. All holes. I don't think we did a perfect job cleaning it. Because we jumped right into clear. Should be just about perfect. Go him back in. Unless we don't do super tight either. Put it on there snug. sure which tip he wants back in it. He'll probably be spring green because I think he has some fender flares on the side of it that are like where the strobe graphic comes off of and he doesn't actually have those yet. He wore them from Brian I believe. But Brian has a set. So that looks pretty nice. Yep, I can see, I don't know if you can see in the video, but you can see the tip just comes through there and allows all the paint to flow through and blast out of there. Pretty simple design, but i tell you, it must be in the craftsmanship or something because some cheap guns just don't work well. And this one sprays beautiful every time. So. Techno Pro Light. It's a great thing. Good finish gun. If there's something better that doesn't give a factory clear coat finish that's out there that doesn't cost $1.21 million, um, I think this was a $700 gun. Um, let us know because that could save tons of time cutting all the, the clear down and buffing it all back out. I'd like to be able to spray something on and it be absolutely flat. I don't think it exists, but if it exists, let me know and I'll look into maybe getting one of those and then save hours and hours and the potential worry of cutting through, sanding through on an edge and cutting all the way through down through the base and then seeing the white uh, sealer underneath. That's the biggest worry about the car. It's all sealed, the color's all on, it's got great coverage. It's got a great clear, but it's got a little bitty factory orange peel. And I know that's what this gun is. I, I watched a lot of videos on it, is that factory orange peel look. Looks the same orange peel that's on my 2018 Jeep Grand Cherokee. Um, but it could be nicer. I want it slick as glass. And this one, maybe there's some settings too. So if somebody out there knows how to use this gun better, let me know. Um, I just. We got it because I saw a lot of videos that people really like this gun, so. Um, but I want to save all the cutting and polishing and worry of I'm going to cut through something because then you got repainting and 
start the whole process again. Who wants to do that? So, Techno, Techno Pro Lite, very good gun. Thank you. Bye-bye.